In Chapter 7, we are going to learn about how to display and describe relationships between two quantitative variables. Oftentimes, it is interesting to explore the relationship between two variables. We already looked at the relationship between two categorical variables through two-way tables and segmented bar graphs. Let's look at the relationship between quantitative data. For example, what is the relationship between the average daily temperature and the number of visitors to Sandy Hook Beach? Well, just looking at a table of values, it might be hard to know uh, how these two variables are moving together. So to investigate the relationship between the quantitative variables, make a scatter plot. The explanatory variable, or the predictor variable, goes on the x-axis. Okay. So it might be called the explanatory variable. It's also referred to as the predictor variable because we're using the average daily temperature to predict the number of visitors to the beach. So we put the response variable, or the predicted variable, on the y-axis. Now, from the scatter plot, we have an idea as to how the two variables are moving together. And you can see as the average daily temperature increases, the number of visitors to the beach generally is increasing as well. Now, when you describe uh, the uh, distribution, okay, when we described distributions before, when we looked at histograms, uh, you knew that you had to discuss shape, center, and spread. Well, we have a new mantra when we describe the association between two variables, and that is strength, direction, and form. The first feature to look for in a scatter plot is how strong the relationship is. At one extreme, do the points appear tightly uh, clustered in a single stream, whether it's straight, curved, or bending all over the place? Or at the other extreme, uh, does the swarm of points, points seem to be uh, just a vague cloud in which it's hard to discern any trend or pattern? So discuss whether you see a weak relationship, maybe a moderately weak relationship, a moderately strong relationship, or a strong relationship. But a strong relationship doesn't mean the um, points have to form a straight line. Since we'll be working mostly with data that's fairly linear, determine if the direction is positive or negative. As x increase, does y generally increase or decrease? If the relationship isn't straight, but it curves gently while still increasing or decreasing steadily, we'll find ways to make that data nearly straight in chapter 10. Be sure to mention if the overall pattern is quadratic, linear, non-existent, or cubic, to name a few. Uh, be careful because there is a very strong relationship here, okay, in this um, quadratic relationship. Okay, it is very strong, it's just not linear. So here's a, an example of how you should describe an association. There appears to be a strong positive linear association between the average daily temperature and the number of visitors to the beach. Notice this description includes the strength, which was positive, the direction, uh, excuse me, the strength, which is strong, the direction, which is positive, and the form, which is linear. And it also includes context. You must also include a supporting statement that describes how the variables are moving together. So generally, the number of visitors to the beach increases as the average daily temperature increases. Now notice how I included the word generally because it is not always true that the number of visitors increases as the average temperature increases. To illustrate, uh, when the average daily temperature was 94 degrees, there were 600 visitors to the beach. And you can see as the temperature increased to 96 degrees, the number of visitors actually decreased to about 565. The supporting statement describes the general overall pattern between the two variables. 
So be sure to include the word generally in your description uh, because without it, your statement is false. Now it's your turn. Pause this video and describe the association between earned run average and winning percentage. You should have mentioned that there appears to be a moderately strong negative linear association between earn run average and winning percentages. Your supporting statement should read something like this. Generally, as earn run average increases, winning percentage decreases. Now, don't get too hung up on moderately strong or moderately weak. Uh, you're just describing the overall uh, strength that you see. Um, up next, we're going to talk about correlation, which will uh, give us a little more concrete way to determine if we have a moderately strong or a strong relationship. And we'll also learn how to calculate this correlation coefficient, how to interpret its meaning, and also discuss some properties of the correlation coefficient.